text, like my other annotation tools, is style driven. I can use styles to keep the, the look and size um, and the properties of text consistent across many objects inside my drawing. If I look on my home tab in the annotation uh, palette, in the flyout you can see all of the styles and the settings of the styles in this particular drawing. Text styles is one of a series of styles including dimensions, multiliters, and tables that are style driven. I can make settings and name my style and then apply it to the objects to create uniformity. As an example of text styles, in this floor plan drawing, each of the rooms is labeled with text. I can create a text style that I can use to keep all of that text consistent. To view my text styles, I would go to the Antitate tab, and then under Text, I have a box that shows me my current text style, and it also has a drop down to show me all of the text styles that are available in this drawing. And I also have a button that will bring up my text style manager. When I open my text style box, you can see that this drawing already has some text styles that have been created. If I start from scratch, your drawing always has a standard text style. If you don't choose a text style, then standard is the default. In this case, we have created a room label text style. The choices that I make when I create a text style are things like the font, and I have a drop down list. You notice that there's two types of fonts available here. There's SHX fonts, which are AutoCAD fonts, and the TT or TrueType fonts that come from Microsoft. Also, under size, I can choose to make this annotative. Right now we're choosing to have annotative turned off, and we're setting the height. Notice that in this one I'm working in architectural units in model space, so my height is set in architectural units. My text is at its actual height, which would be 6 inches tall. Down here under effects, I can set things like width factor and obliquing angle, and upside down backwards these I will see a preview of what this text is going to look like with the font that I've chosen. I can click on and set current and there's slightly grayed out to show you that that is the current text. We'll go ahead and close and on this box it says that room labels is my current text style. So when I click on single line text I'm going to go down here to the living room, click and it doesn't ask me for single line text for the height because it's already set in my text style. It asks for angle of rotation and I'm going to say zero and then enter. And I want this to be in all caps. Living room. Enter, enter again. And you can see that this is consistent with these other uh, labels. If I click on the label it shows I can look in the uh, textile box and it tells me that these are all using the room label textile. Now these are non annotative text so when I go to my layout here I'm viewing my layout in quarter inch equals a foot and that is consistent to my first layout here. My viewport here is scaled to quarter inch equals a foot and I can see the size of the text and everything looks consistent to model space. Now in this viewport we've scaled this to one half inch equals a foot. Now you'll notice that my text is annotative so the size of the text stays consistent even though the scale uh, has a higher uh, magnification in this viewport. My dimensions stay the same size but my text has gotten larger. So being non-annotative when I zoom in, the text will get larger with the magnification of the view. Now if I wanted my text to be annotative, the way that that would be set would be in the text style. So we're going to open our text style box again. And you'll notice that we have a room label 
uh, text style that is annotative. I'm going to click on that and you'll notice that in this uh, text style the same font only this time it's been checked to be annotative. Now I could check to match the text orientation to the layout which would turn my text and make it uh, if I had the uh, the layout oriented for landscape um, or for portrait it would automatically turn the text and orient it that way. And this time when it's annotative I want to put in the actual height in paper space that I want my text to be. So I'm saying I want my text to have uh, an actual height of eighth inch when it's printed on the paper. Now how it's viewed in model space will be set with its scale. All other things are left the same. So we're going to set this current and we'll close. Now these these texts you can see are just room labeled the non annotative text style. But I can change the text style of these text items just by clicking on them so that their handle lights up and then choose a different text style. In this case it's my annotative room text style. Now you can see that they've all gotten very very small because they need to be scaled in this drawing. I need to add some scales for my annotative text. Um, to do that because I'm working with existing text I'm going to have to choose all of that text so I think I will isolate that. I'll go to my home tab and all of the text is on the text layer. So if I click on one of the texts and say isolate the text layer then all of my text items are now isolated. So I'll use a window to select all of them. And now that they're all selected I'm going to go back to the annotate, go to my add and delete scales and in this case I want to work with my architectural scales. So quarter inch equals a foot and I'll hold down the shift to choose down through three quarter inch equals a foot will be the scales that I would like this to work at. So I'll go ahead and say OK and I can now see the uh, the text because it's being displayed on my as my annotation scale down here on the status bar says at quarter inch equals a foot. If I were to change that to half inch equals a foot, you notice it gets smaller. So I know that my annotative text is working. I'll go back to my home tab and I will unisolate my other layers. Now with my annotative text working, I can go to my layout. In this first uh, viewport, I'm scaled at quarter inch equals a foot and I can see the size of my text the same way it looked in model space. Now when I go to this viewport this is scaled to half inch equals a foot so all of my other items are larger but you notice that the text remains consistent in size from viewport to viewport. So now that I have annotative text my text will remain a consistent size across all the viewports and all of my viewport scales. We'll look at one last situation dealing with annotative textiles. Say I want to change a textile to annotative. In this case my text labels uh, are on a room label textile that is not annotative. I want to turn on annotative and you notice the annotative icon that comes up next to this textile. The other thing I have to change is now I have to change the paper space text height. So rather than working with my size in model space I have to change to the actual size that I would like my text to appear uh, in my layout. So we'll apply that and then we'll close. Now these items are not automatically updated so I have to click on each of the labels
and now I'm going to use my anno update command to update all of those to annotative. And you can see that now they immediately change to my eighth inch equals a foot scale. Now I want to add some additional scales. If I click on this I can see that uh, in my scale box I only have eighth inch equals a foot. I'm going to cancel that. So I'll go ahead and choose each one of these items again because I'm dealing with existing items that I want to have new annotative scales. I'm going to turn on automatically add scales and then on my scale I'm going to choose quarter inch equals a foot. I'll choose half inch equals a foot and I will choose three quarter inch equals a foot. Then I'm going to turn off automatically adding scales. So now if I click on this and look at the scales available all of those scales have been added. So in paper space or model space here I'm going to change back to quarter inch equals a foot. You notice that both my dimensions and my text uh, show annotated properties.